Missouri State Facts for Kids Missouri is bordered by Iowa to the north, Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee to the east, Arkansas to the south, and Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska to the west. The Mississippi River shapes the majority of the state's wavy eastern boundary. Four geographical regions can be distinguished in Missouri. Above the Missouri River, the dissected till plains cut into the far north. The majority of the region is a flat prairie with rivers, streams, and good soil. Western Missouri's Osage Plains are mostly flat with a few hills. Compared to the till plains, the soil there is shallower and less fertile. 15 million acres of the state were once covered in tall grass, which may grow tall enough to cover a rider on a horse. But today, not much of it is left. One of the few remaining locations for these extraordinarily tall grasses in this area is Prairie State Park. Most of Missouri's southern half is covered by the Ozark Plateau, the state's most prominent geographical region. Here, springs, caves, and high, wooded hills were all the result of gradual water erosion. The Lake of the Ozarks is another reservoir where many people go on vacation where they enjoy such activities as boating, camping, and fishing. The state's boot heel is the southeast region, which is home to the low-lying Mississippi alluvial plain. Cotton, soybeans, and rice are grown in this area because of the fertile terrain that has been made possible by flooding from the Mississippi River. The area today known as Missouri may have been inhabited for as long as 20,000 years. Native American tribes like the Chickasaw, Illini, Missouri, and Osage continued to inhabit the area for many centuries after then. The area that would become Missouri was part of the vast Louisiana Territory claimed by France in 1682. Eighty years later, Spain seized possession of it, but that wouldn't last long. In 1800, Spain ceded the area back to France. When they ratified the Louisiana Purchase Treaty in 1803, the United States acquired the area. A year later, American explorers William Clark and Meriwether Lewis departed from St. Louis to explore and document this huge continent. On August 10, 1821, Missouri became the 24th state. It was separated into 115 counties and Jefferson City was established as the state capital. It began to use the two-letter abbreviation, M, and, O. There is a total population of 6.2 million residents making it the 19th most populated state in the Union. Missouri has a total area of 68,886 square miles which makes it the 21st largest state in America. The geographical high point is Tom Sock Mountain which stands at 1,772 feet above sea level. The key industries of the state are agriculture, including cattle, dairy products, corn, hay, soybeans, chickens, and eggs, mining, including limestone, coal, and lead, transportation equipment, chemicals, food processing, aerospace, banking, and tourism. Missouri was the eastern starting point for the Pony Express. In operation for only 18 months between April 1860 and October 1861, the Pony Express nevertheless has become synonymous with the Old West. In the era before electronic communication, the Pony Express was the thread that tied east to west. The route was more than 1,800 miles and mail was delivered in 10 days. It started in St. Joseph, Missouri, and ended in Sacramento, California. Dred Scott, a slave who filed a claim for freedom in Missouri in 1846 and lost in 1857, would serve as the subject of a famous legal case. It was one of the incidents that sparked the Civil War, fought between states that wished to abolish or put an end to slavery in the nation and those that wished to maintain its legal status. Slavery was legal in Missouri during the Civil War, which began in 1861, but unlike other slave-owning states, Missouri never seceded or withdrew from the Union. The tallest man-made structure in the United States is the Gateway Arch in St. Louis. It is more than twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty at 630 feet. It even has an elevator in it that goes all the way to the top. The ice cream cone was invented at the World's Fair in St. Louis when an ice cream vendor ran out of cups and had the idea to use waffles, which he had plenty of, instead. Richard Bletchenden was a British tea merchant and government official who is credited with popularizing iced tea. 
Bletchenden promoted iced tea at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri, after which the drink attained nationwide recognition. Branson, Missouri is known as a one-of-a-kind experience, a unique blend of neon and nature where big-name performers, world-class fishing, and attractions galore attract visitors from around the world. The first successful parachute jump from an airplane was made in St. Louis in 1912 by Captain Albert Barry. There are over 200 registered fountains in the greater Kansas City area, spanning classical to modern, realistic to whimsical. The city is even nicknamed the City of Fountains. The state tree is the flowering dogwood. Flowering dogwood is named for the showy spring flowers. The common name dogwood comes from one colonial description of the fruit as being edible but not fit for a dog. The state flower is the hawthorn. Hawthorns symbolize happiness, beauty, faith, longevity, and hope, but they also hold a more magical meaning. Some believe hawthorn trees help shelter fairies, who act as their guardians. The state bird is the eastern bluebird. Bluebirds are a symbol of happiness, springtime, and peace. They are also beneficial to our landscapes. Historically, both Native Americans and colonists used nest boxes and gourds to attract bluebirds to nest nearby and help control insect populations. The state fish is the channel catfish. Adults are normally 12 to 32 inches long and can weigh up to 15 pounds. The state mammal is the mule. Mules are hybrids meaning they are the offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Mules themselves cannot reproduce. I hope you enjoy our videos. If so, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel.